Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video, and um, this is coming a little bit quicker than I thought it was, but I had said in previous videos, a lot of you guys were on my side, some of you guys were like, nah, it's not gonna get a price increase right away, and that is Xbox Game Pass going up in price. Look, um, I've been around not only uh, gaming subscription services, more importantly, you see the subscription services in history when it comes to entertainment mediums like Netflix um, and all these other stuff, you know, the other subscription services. Amazon Prime, let's go with that. They all follow a similar model, and if you just look at them and how they uh, operated as a business, it was very obvious that Game Pass was going to operate similarly as a business, especially with the value proposition that it had. We'll talk all about it, and I'll give you more insight into that point in a little bit, but let's go over everything. This is coming from windowscentral.com, and uh, Jez Gordon, of course, a completely unbiased source, and uh, it, like, I am so bewildered by the headline, Xbox Game Pass is finally getting its long-awaited price increase, so that's what it says. I feel like the better terminology would be long expected or highly expected price increase. Long awaited makes it sound like, bro, I I've just been waiting to give Microsoft my, my money. I, I can't wait to give Xbox more of my money. Like long awaited, just, I would say that for like long awaited game announcements, long awaited games to come out, so on and so forth. I don't think a price increase is uh, long awaited. A am I crazy? Let me know in the comments section down below. I feel like that verbiage should just be altered a little bit, and I do find that a little bit comical. I get it, like, if you probably X's and O's it, it's, it, it's very much picking at hairs and picking at straws, but you get the idea. Nonetheless, here's what you need to know. Soon, Xbox Game Pass for consoles will be shuttered for new users only. Users currently on Xbox Game Pass for console will be allowed to maintain their subscription as well as day one games and the hundreds of titles in the back catalog. New users on Xbox Game Pass in the near future will be greeted by new Game Pass standard. This is more like EA Access, which includes Xbox's back catalog and doesn't include day one games. This will be priced at $14.99 a month and will also include Xbox Live Gold for multiplayer. Doesn't include Xbox Cloud Gaming. Game Pass Standard is supposedly launching in September. From September 12th, 2024, Microsoft will only allow users to stack Xbox Game Pass for console users for up to 13 months. This means using prepaid cards and the like, which will continue to function if you have more than 13 months stacked already, you won't be impacted. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate will not be changed but it will get a price increase. It'll include uh, PC Game Pass, Day One games, and hundreds of back catalog titles, as well as cloud gaming, but it's getting a price increase. The new price will be $20 a month, so a hefty price increase there. Given, like, the level of games included in Xbox Game Pass, Day One titles, and everything like that, quote-unquote Day One titles, because a lot of these games, by the way, are doing the fake early access gimmick, so... Keep that in mind as well. But Game Pass Ultimate is essentially the price point of if you were to buy four major new releases a year. I guess it would actually be more than four since, or less than four because game prices have gone up to $70. But if they were $60, it would be four major game releases a year. From a value proposition standpoint, I don't think that's that crazy. Now, that is Game Pass Ultimate, which includes console Game Pass, PC Game Pass, as well as Xbox Live Gold. PC Game Pass standalone is only going up in price from $9.99 to $11.99. I'll speak why on why I think that is such a slight price increase in a little bit. PC Game Pass will also continue to get day one games. Xbox Game Pass Core, which is just Xbox Live Gold, I'm sure you guys don't care about that. Pay to play online uh, is ridiculous. Uh, it's going to $74.99 from $59.99, but it'll remain $9.99 a month. Yeah, like pay and play online is such a ripoff. Oh my goodness, like... That is so, so horrible. Like, if a console generation is eight years long, think about that. $75 a year over the course of eight years? Like, bro, you're just saving that on PC. That's, that's so ridiculous when you think about it. Just uh, probably the most ridiculous thing in console gaming. But there you go. That is everything. The new price point will take effect on September 12th. Now, obviously, you guys mostly care about PC. PC Game Pass, $9.99 to $11.99? Not too bad at all. Like, for the value proposition and... Uh, like, fingers crossed, unlike previous years, it looks like Microsoft's 
first party output is actually getting better look apparently we're gonna get a valve this year hopefully that gets a release date soon indiana jones is on the way hellblade 2 just came out you got persona 3 reload on the service earlier this year like game pass on pc is a home run now why is it only going up to 11.99 i'll tell you guys my theory look as great as game pass is on pc i see a lot of people avoiding it uh, we're not getting it because it is relegated to the Xbox app. I know sometimes, and maybe rightfully so, you guys think I make too big of a deal over a service or a game being available on Steam, but anecdotally, me speaking on how many of my friends outside of the top-level games, we're talking if they play World of Warcraft or something like that, don't even bother with a game unless it's on Steam, it's ridiculous. Now, Game Pass is such an incredible value that I see people utilizing it anyway, but I think if you were to up it to, let's say, $19.99 like, for Game Pass on PC, I think at that point, people are going to be like, it's not on Steam. Is the value proposition really there? And it's going to be really hard to draw in new people, and I just don't think it would work out. $11.99, on the other hand, it's a very slight price increase. I mean, 20% is uh, is significant to an extent but it's not crazy and it's still at that price threshold where people will view it as a ridiculous value worthwhile to migrate to a different platform there's very few services like i don't think ubisoft a plus is as good of a service to justify for a lot of people i'm saying you know for a ton of people to jump on at ubisoft connect and then sign up at whatever it is 16 dollars a month yeah some people will do it but i don't think it's going to be a ton of people game pass on the other hand i think at 11.99 people will be like all right brother i'm getting call of duty all right i'm getting gears of war e-day when it comes out i'm getting you know indiana jones i'm getting uh avowed i'm getting fable if that game comes out and is good uh that is still a, a big drawing card for pc game pass at 11.99 and you have to remember xbox game pass is available on the most prevalent uh, storefront possible xbox like if you have an xbox console it's on they, they already have you in that ecosystem with pc game pass they don't have you in that ecosystem. It has to be more of a drawing card for you to jump on over and install the Xbox app and then play games off the Xbox app instead of Steam. I would even bet you, and this will never happen, at least I don't think in the foreseeable future, if Xbox Game Pass was on Steam and you would just get those games downloaded on Steam and it operated the same way and it was $14.99 instead of $11.99, I think more people would sign up on Steam versus the Xbox app. I truly believe that. You guys can call me a Steam ass kisser all you want. That is my personal opinion. I don't think it'll happen just because at that point you have to rework all of the deals that you're signing up for this game. Look, a publisher signs up to put their game on PC Game Pass because they know they're still going to sell the game on Steam. The, ball, the, the game changes a little bit once that service is also available on Steam. But I just offer that to you guys as my input on why the PC Game Pass price point, because I saw some people discussing it, is only $11.99. Guys, if it went up to $14.99, if it went up to $17.99... I think it would be very much a hard sell for new people to certainly jump in uh, and install the Xbox app and try Game Pass. I think at $11.99, it's still a very big drawing card. But let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, I still think Game Pass is an incredible value. I don't think we have to call prices increases a long-awaited, though. Uh, long expected, sure. But again, it's like, I'm waiting for this price to go up, bro. I can't wait to give Microsoft more money. But uh, I don't think anybody is uh, like that. But I'm not going to uh, be of the mindset like, oh, Xbox Game Pass is a horrible value. No, it's not. It's still incredible. Uh, especially if their first party isn't complete dog crap for the foreseeable future like it has been for a long time and i said before you're never gonna get another opportunity like this to up the price point of it and it not getting immense backlash they're gonna continue upping the price don't get me wrong that's every subscription service you guys that's how they get you in the door they get your foot in the door at a low price point at an insane an incredible value and then you ultimately hit a ceiling once you hit that ceiling you gotta make more money somehow. How do you do that? You A, either lessen the value or keep the value proposition stagnant while also upping the price. You have to up the price once you get people's foot in the door. That is every subscription service. Any subscription service that you see come into the business and uh, come into the game, 
and it comes in at an incredible value, realize what they're doing. They want people's foot in the door. They want your credit card information there so you can instantly log back in and re-up your subscription if they push you away somehow. It is how the world works as far as subscription services. And now uh, you're seeing Xbox Game Pass do it as well. And I don't think Ultimate is going to level off at $19.99. In a year from now, two years from now, I see it going up to $22.99. I see it going up to $24.99. And, um, you know, that's just the game we play when you talk about these kinds of things. But that'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. As always, guys, thanks for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.